Close your eyes and stick with your breath. Stay with it all the way in, all the way out. What you're doing here is you're taking momentary concentration, you're trying to turn it into what's called neighborhood concentration. In other words, the little moments of focus that we have, they tend to wander around. They bump into something unpleasant, even if it's just boredom, they move to something else, something else, something else, They're constantly on the move. What you want to do is get your focus in one place and keep it there, which means you're going to have to go against those little moments of unpleasantness. So you fight through the mind's tendency to jump around. And you, then you can begin to create a sense of well-being inside. Then, of course, the Buddha says you might easily get stuck on the sense of well-being. But for the time being, learn how to cultivate it, and learn how to be with it and not get swallowed up in it. In other words, leaving the breath and just for trying to focus on the comfort. You have to maintain your focus even there. As long as you stay with the breath, then the sense of ease can spread around the body. And it can do its work, and you keep on creating it. So what this requires is patience and endurance. Enduring the little bit, bits of pain that you may encounter when you first start meditating, and enduring the, enduring the pleasure, not giving in to the tendency to just want to wallow in the pleasure, learning how to be with it but not get overcome by it. Of course, these are little things that you're enduring here. There are a lot bigger things that we have to endure in life, but it's good to get practice, starting with little things like this. As you sit and meditate, you stay in one position for a long time. There will be pains in different parts of the body, and you have to learn how to endure them. But again, you don't endure them just to endure them. You endure them so you can understand them. That's why the Buddha taught Rukula, at the very beginning of the meditation, make your mind like earth. So when something unpleasant comes up, you remind yourself, earth doesn't react to unpleasant things. You can throw garbage on the earth, and it doesn't shrink away, it doesn't get disgusted. In the same way, unpleasant things will come to the mind. You don't shrink away, but you don't just put up with them, you try to understand them. It's when you understand them that you can get past them. So learn how to work on your powers of endurance. Part of it has to do with the way you breathe, part of it has to do with the way you talk to yourself, the images you hold in mind. All too often we feel that if we endure something difficult, we're being weak. But that's not what the Buddha is talking about. It's a strength, your ability to be with something unpleasant so you can understand it. You don't have to run away from it or lash out at it. And when you understand things, then you really get to go beyond them. So breathe in a way that makes it easier to endure whatever difficulties you're facing. Talk to yourself in a way that makes it easier to endure. And hold in mind the image that the Buddha gave of your goodwill being like the earth. Your goodwill for yourself, your goodwill for others is so big that no matter what anybody else does to it, it's still going to be right there. Just in the same way when someone starts digging in the earth and spitting on the earth, hoping to erase the earth and make the earth go away, that person's just going to get a lot of vexation. He's not going to get anywhere near to what he wants to do. So even though people outside may seem to want to make you miserable, you have to remind yourself, I'm not going to cooperate with them. I'm going to learn how to endure this, but without making myself miserable at the same time. And that requires understanding. This is why we meditate, to look very carefully at the mind, to see how it can take things and make, make the mind suffer from them. So we can learn how to change our habits, so that no matter what comes up in life, we don't have to suffer. As the Buddha said, you want to get so that you can be with pain, but be separate from the pain. That means you don't go gobbling down everything that comes your way, because when you start gobbling things down, you're taking the pains too. So you want to understand what you're doing, so you can learn how to stop. And then you realize that the, the pain originally was separate to begin with. You were the ones who were disturbing the pain. So remember, we endure things so we can understand them. See them clearly for what they are. That's how we get past them, and the mind can rise to a higher level.